right? And then into these wee holes. Yeah, hold this. Look. See, the, the pelleted seeds, they come through here, and then into these wee holes, and then through the field, and then out into the furrow. Hello right? there, you two. Enjoying the show, are you? Oh, hi, it's grand. Here, oh, Here, it's, it's as good a show as I've been at, I'd say. What is it? There's some business I want to discuss with you. There is no business you could have with me, Dougal, that Augie can't be a party to. Look, it's you that's going harpers with me on a new tractor, not Augie Wilson. A new tractor? Aye, but, but you've got to come and see it first. <laughs> Dougal Lachlan offering to spend money. No, that is a chance you can't pass up, Morag. I'll believe it when I see it. I will. Come on. I'll show you it. <laughs> Has he been uh, at the drink? I know it's love. What do you mean? My cousin Heather. He's taken a real shine to her. And her to him. Oh, aye. Yeah, this plant is really lovely. It's so kind of you, Lily. I'm glad you like it. I do wish there was some way I could help Thomas, my dear. Oh, I wouldn't worry, Lily. The Invadara's big enough to look after himself. Oh, man, a peculiarly inept at looking after themselves sometimes, Alice. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. No, but they're stubborn beasts as well. And it'll take a lot more than a few gates left open to make Invadara quit his farm. And I dare say Snedden knows that as well as you and I. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah, you and Morag seem to be getting on well. Oh, we are that. A lot of character has Morag. Anna Croft. Ah, but I'd not be influenced by a thing like that. Oh, no, 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 of course not. And of course, there's her Heather. She's something else. Good looker. Lots of fun. More of the type I would expect a man of the world like yourself to be sniffing after. Well, I would have seen the time, but it's someone to settle down with that I'm looking for. Ah, but underneath all that frivolity, it's got a lot of common sense together. And of course, there's the farm. Farm? Our father's farm. In Ayrshire. Poor old soul. It's not long for this world either. There's only Heather to inherit. Really? Hmm. Expected to snuff at any time. And when he does, Heather will have to think about settling down too. Ah, she'll be a rare catch for somebody. There's her taking a fancy for Dougal Lack. Well, some folk have all the luck. Well? Well, what? How did you get on with Mr. Carmichael? It's thumbs up. Oh, Brian, I'm so <laughs> pleased. So he'll have told you some more about it then, has he? Uh, not a lot. No, uh, he and his associates will put up the money for the lorries. And you? Well, I'll advertise for the drivers. And uh, where's the work coming from? Well, we'll have to thunder for it like everyone else. But he's got contacts. He seems to think we'll get work, no bother. The important thing is to get the company registered. Oh, you have to do that? Oh, just fill in the forms. He says his lawyer's done that, but uh, I can see one or two bits and pieces that I'll have to do before I sign it. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to look through it all first. Um, have you told him about... Oh, he knew all about it. It didn't seem to bother him at all. Ah, Isabel, this is really what I've been needing. Something to make me feel a real person again. Make me feel that I matter. Oh, Brian, you've always mattered to me. You know that. And now... There's nothing else that does. So are you uh, getting your tractor, then? Oh, the man's going soft in the head. We're talking 15,000 pounds. 15,000! How he expects it to raise that kind of money, I don't know. And then he was going on about this Argo cat. He wants me to go halfers on that with him as well. Just so he can go flying about the hills on a three-wheeled motorbike. A 
Are you listening to me? Mum? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, when do you think you'll be getting your tractor? Bite. Well, he was interested enough when I mentioned the farm all right. Right. Uh, well, he seemed to think that uh, <clears throat> you had the idea first. And... What? Well, and for Dara. Hamish. Uh, how did you get on with a bull? Uh, did it get a ticket? I didn't show it. Why ever not? Snedden had it pelleted. I wash up the lunch dishes. No, I'll get them later. You know, I was wondering if I should write to Willie. What do you think? I was thinking of writing to Willie. Why not? Trouble is, I wouldn't know what to say. Oh, just say what you feel. I couldn't do that. Why? Well, how would you like it if someone wrote to you saying they were very sorry for the way they behaved? They would really like to see you again. But not to get the wrong idea, because although you may be friends, you could never be anything else but friends, because you're not in the least bit fanciful. Oh, for God's sake, Carol, just do what you want. landmarks. Now I'll point them out to you and you just follow my finger. All right. Now, if you look over there, you see the castle in all its glory. Oh, it's had a long and bloody history, Mr. Robert. This is my Now, the Princess Street Gardens. Civic Mountain. Oh, Edinburgh, the glorious city of classic culture, the Athens of the North. I suppose that's a Greek ruin. Don't be ridiculous. They only started to build that in the last century before they ran out of money. The disgrace of Edinburgh, it's called, so we'll just forget all about that. Now come along. We've an awful lot to see and not much time to see it. Come on, Mr. Robert, hurry up. You got minute. Problems? No, oh, it's these registration forms. There can't be extensive the notes that came with them. Mm -hmm. uh, what it says about names. Present Christian name or surname must be given, together with any previous Christian name or surname. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, do you know? A previous Christian name or surname need not be given if 
if in the case of a married woman, it was a name by which she was known before her marriage, or it was changed or ceased to be used at least 20 years ago, or before the person who previously used it reached the age of 18. Yeah, you see what I mean? Or, <laughs> oh, I'd just put Brian Blair and sign it. Yeah, right. I'll uh, need your signature as well. Mine? What for? Uh, company secretary. Companies? Don't be ridiculous, Brian. What do I know about road haulage? You don't have to know anything. I mean, it's a formality, that's all. I mean, you don't have to do anything. I don't think I like the sound of that. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, the office, for registration purposes, uh, has to be the shop. Brian, are you sure this is all right? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, come on, Isabel. Look, I'm not going to do anything to put you or the shop in jeopardy, am I? I mean, it's a formality, that's all. I did ask. An office, a company secretary, a, a name and address. It's, it's just to get it registered and off the ground. Trust me. They come now. Not before time. I'm glad to see you're all waiting and ready to go. Oh, I must say you don't look as if you've had a very good time. Unlike Mr. Murdoch and myself, we've had a certainly wonderful day, haven't we, Mr. Murdoch? Well, listen to what, Mrs. Mack? Well, what are we waiting for? Fergus Jimison. Last seen slumped over a bar. <laughs> it's locked. Home. Well, anybody Derek's offered to give us a lift. If you think I'm going to squeeze myself in the back of his Land Rover, you're very much mistaken. We wouldn't dream of asking you to do that, Mrs. Mack. No, we've reserved a place for you and the float with the bull. Mr. Marnock and I will stay over in Edinburgh tonight what? and make our own way back tomorrow. But I... Actually, I think I might just do the same. An old friend of mine from university, I'm sure he'd be able to give me a bed for just one night. Here, I wouldn't mind a couple of hours in the town before we go back, eh? Has nobody thought of looking? Well, in that case, you may give us a lift into the city. Merciful heavens! What is it? Is he dead? Aye, dead drunk. Eddie? Archie! <laughs> oh, eh. Uh, on your own, eh? I thought Eddie might be in. Well, he's not. No, no, I can see that. Uh, Sheila. Something is burning. Oh, no! Oh, it's Eddie's tea! Oh, and it's ruined! Oh, that's a shame. I will not stay. Um, I just wanted Eddie to know that I've. Uh, <clears throat> Got the polystyrene on the canvas for the raft. You know, for the race. Hmm? Ah, well, I'll away then. I'll see Eddie another time. I'll. Glasgow's always welcomed here during the festival. She's a good and valued customer. Yes? yes? Well, we're wondering, have you got any rooms for the night? For that booking? Well, we hadn't intended staying in Edinburgh, but you see, this is in the nature of an emergency. A grave emergency. Well, as it happens, I have had a cancellation. Oh. There's a small room, but it's comfortable. Just the one. And very fortunate you are to get it. Yes, 
Oh, that was a tight squeeze, Minister. Oh, it certainly was. It's a long way back to Glendarroch. I don't mind sitting on Augie's knee. Just as long as I don't have to go in that float there. But come on, let's get to the pub. In my Darroch looks like you can do me a drink. I could, but uh, I'm driving. No, that's all right, I'll drive. You better go in and drown your sorrows. Come all right, there we go. Miss Willies! All right, Minister. I am not really sure that I should. Ah, Minister, you're off the lead tonight. Even if you've still got the collar on it. <laughs> One small sherry wouldn't be overdoing it, I suppose. No, not at all. Come on with you. Ah. My goodness. Oh, 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 ladies, I'm terribly sorry. It's all right, Minister. There's nothing we haven't seen before. <laughs> Here's Willie. I've got somebody I'll have to go in and get the both of them out. If the need arises, Hamish, I shall not shirk my duty. <laughs> <laughs> to see you here this evening. Oh, I've left Lily in charge of getting Doddle to bed. Mm -hmm. You know she likes to fuss. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought you better know I got a call saying the men are going to be late back. What are the advantages of having a phone? Well, I don't need a phone to know that, Alice. The men are always late back from the Highland show. What's the excuse this time? Has the bus broken down? No, it seems it's the driver that's done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't worry about Dougal. Bob will keep him out of trouble. Well, you know, I almost wish he wouldn't. Dougal getting into trouble would be a wee bit more like his old self. Uh, it would. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And again. And again. And again. Yeah! Well, there we are, ladies. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. It's working, Diggle. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Any luck, Minister? No reply, I'm afraid. I may have to try Mrs. Mack's boarding house after all. I'll get this in, Bud Dara. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Over here. Oh, cheers. What's the matter, big lad? Can you not afford to buy a drink these days? Drink up, lads. It's time to go. Watch him, Taylor. He's trying to skip out without buying his round. It's Snitton, we all know what your game is. Is that a fact now? So you should know it's not just one man you've taken on. It's all of us. <laughs> hey, look who we got here, boys. A couple of chuchters. <laughs> Yeah, look, I mean, don't be stupid, man. I wonder what the smell of dung was. Ah, I still got the straw hanging out their wellies. Out their heads as well. Hey, that was good whiskey. So what you got there about it? Uh -huh. Six against two, is it, eh? Make that five. That's a bug. Six. <laughs> hey, lads, you see the time? Too late for the game. Come on, finish your time. I don't like to see an uneven fight.
Anything to eat? There was, about two hours ago. Get myself a sandwich, then. Eddie, I am going to get this degree whether you like it or not, so you just better get used to the idea. I don't have to get used to anything. What do you mean? I mean, I can't stop you going to your precious summer school. But I don't have to be here when you get back. Yes? Good evening. I'm terribly sorry to trouble you at such short notice, but uh, I was recommended to you for a room for the night. Oh, we're full. Oh, uh, I see. I wonder, some friends of mine from Glendarroch were going to try you too. Have you any idea if they've booked in? I got my last room. Oh, just the one room? That's right. Uh, then I doubt if they were friends of mine. They definitely come from Glendarroch. Mr. and Mrs. Murdoch. 